Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install the Ditto Note 4 ROM on your Galaxy Note 2 GTN7 100. So guys this ROM works with this variant only. With this ROM you get the Note 4 features and even with the future updates for this ROM, this tutorial will work. You must be rooted and should have a custom recovery installed and make sure you have the latest recovery. I will leave all the links in the description. Once done, back up everything that you need cause you'll be losing all your apps and data. Now hit link 1 from the description. That will take you to the XDA page for this ROM from where you can download the ROM. Download the ROM and transfer it to your phone. Once done, turn off your device. Once the device is off, hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time until you see the Note 2 displayed. So this will take us to the recovery mode. Over here, you can use your volume keys to navigate and power button to select. So first, go on to wipe data slash factory reset, select it and hit yes. Once done, go to wipe cache partition and hit yes. Now go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes. Now go back, go to mountain storage and here you need to format system. So this is very necessary for a clean installation. So once this is done, go back, go to install zip. Choose zip from SD card if the ROM is on your internal memory or choose zip from SD card 1 if it's on the external. Now select the ROM file and hit yes install. So guys this will take some time just be patient and I will be back with you guys. Ok the installation is complete now, go back and hit reboot system now. And if you get this prompt hit yes, fix root. So the first boot will take some time just be patient and I will be back once we boot back. So there you go guys, the UI is from the Note 4 as you can see here. Let me just skip through the basic setup. Ok guys, swiping from the left does give us the flipboard briefing that we have seen with the Note 4. Ok so a first close. So guys you know before proceeding I'd like to say that this is the early build, developers will fix this with the future updates. So first of all this is a port, so everything might not work perfectly fine but still it's a great thing to have all the Note 4 features on the Note 2. We even have the toggles from the Note 4, multi window from the Note 4, power saving mode. So let's quickly check the ultra power saving mode. And there you go guys, it's working. Seriously, it's working fine. Let me just disable this. Now let's launch the camera. The camera is working fine, no force closes. Even the video mode is working fine. Coming to the app drawer, we have the new S voice, the pen up app from the Note 4, new wallpapers, icons, Note 4 apps. So that's really great. We even get the multi window, the new multi window from the Note 4, that is the floating apps. And as you can see here, it's working fine. Now let's move on to settings. So here, as you can see, the UI is from the Note 4, the settings UI. Let me have a look at the lock effect. So yes we do get the new unlock effect from the Note 4 but this is not working as of now. Hopefully the next update will definitely fix this all. So guys I will be doing a review once we have the stable version of this ROM.
we have got the festival effect which is self-explanatory so private mode is there we even have the power saving mode uh, that means we do get the grayscale mode as well as you can see here we do get the fast charging option but this does not work so right now we are running the android 4.4.4 kitkat and this is the ditto note 4 rom so guys yes it's good to have the note 4 feature on the note 2 right now this rom is not totally stable i felt some lags here and there but this is the first port as i've mentioned earlier so i will be coming up with a full review once we get the stable version as of now photo note works uh, all the s pen function works uh, one-handed operation works you can definitely try this rom if you want to most of the features from the note 4 works perfectly fine but right now i would suggest you guys to wait for the next update and then follow this video to install the rom i hope this video helped stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time